Hi everyone. Today I'd like to show you how to turn ordinary beads like this ones on my right to stardust beads like this ones on my left. These ones are ordinary wires and these ones are stardust wires. This is an old jewelry that I have and it is dirty because I haven't cleaned it for a while but I want to use it again but then even if after I clean this it would still look pretty plain so I turn it into a stardust effect. Just for comparison the one on the right is a bracelet that I made using ordinary copper wire and this one is my stardust version. I think it just looks so much better and again this necklace I made using the stardust wire and ordinary copper wire so the two I think that looks so much better also this Valentine's pendant I've applied a stardust effect and the back is just plain so there's a half round wire the tools we need are files this one's has got diamond embedded on them and this one is just an ordinary one so either of them will do and a clamp or two so to start off with, I'm going to take my clamp and clamp it, just a little section. I'm only using a short piece of wire for this video, but normally I have about half a meter to a meter long of wire. I'll just take the ordinary file. This file you can get, I'm sure, at hardware stores. I'm not sure whether you can get hold of this from the hardware store because I bought this from a gem show. To start off is I'm just going to go one way and reverse it so again you might have to do this a few times so I'm going the opposite way and I'm just gonna do a close-up if I take my clamp off you can already see the difference so again I'm gonna continue and just do that going around and so now I'm going to take my clamp off and now you can see the difference. That's with the wire and using this file and if I use this file you'll see that it's the same. So you can just go around so it doesn't matter what sort of file or shape of file you use it will work the same. And now we're going to move on to the beads. So this bead here look exactly the same or is exactly the same as this bead here but so now I'm going to show you how to turn it from the shiny bead to the stardust effect I'll take my file this is a flat one and what I do is just do it like that so if you just roll it don't press too hard because you might flatten the bead or your metal bead so as you roll it it creates little sparkles that's with the diamond file now with this one this actually works much better because of the ridges or the lines that it has so you can see those lines it gives the metal beads a pattern and therefore creating a stardust effect So now you can see the pattern or the indentation that is created on the beads. So see, you can see the difference now. So I'm just going to go continue doing this. Again, don't press too hard, just guide it. So even you can do it with one hand. Also, it's best to have a leather mat to roll it on that way it doesn't slip I'll just check it's nearly there and so now I've finished it and the two are almost identical the beads you can buy the stardust beads ready done with the stardust on them but it costs twice as much so for those of you who's making jewelry on a the budget then it's worth my while to do 
the stardusting effect myself than to pay for the stardust beads. But if cost is not an issue, I'd suggest that you just get the stardust beads ready made. But with the wires, I don't know if you could get stardust wires, but this is one way of using up any wires that you've got so you can have the stardust effect. 